going on guys? Uh, welcome back here, out on Lake McIntosh this morning. About to blast off here in a few minutes, start the tournament. Should be a great day, got cloud cover. Top water should be on, so stay tuned. All right, well, I made it to the first spot here. Going in the same cove where I caught the uh, four pounder last week or so. Oh, yeah, come on, baby. Come on, come on. Right away. Stay on, stay on. Woo! Right away, baby. Let's let the drag out. Oh, come on, drag. There we go. First cast. First cast catch. Let's get the net here. Let's get the net. Tire out. Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god. This is a good one. Yes! I leech Naya Riva! Guys, you're gonna have to see this. First cast. First cast, baby. Got a good one here. Probably about three or something. Three and a half. Woo! There we go. Another one on, baby. Stay on, stay on. This one's not as good. But it's fighting nice and... I thought I'd drag up a little bit on this one. There we go. Come on, baby. It's a good one, though. It's not as, I don't think it's good as the last one, but. Oh, no, no, come back here. Oh, man, he's fighting hard now. Come here. He's hooked. He's not hooked in the mouth. He's on the gill, but I think he's hooked pretty good. Oh, barely hooked. Barely hooked. Come on, come on. He's a keeper, though. Definitely a keeper. Two, two and a half. I tell you what though, somehow one of my knobs on my uh, drag system broke off. One, I don't think he's gonna make it. I don't think he's 12. Oh well. Let's just measure him to be safe. He's definitely not 12. He's actually 11 and a half. Skinny little fish.
I think I got a big one on and he hit at the boat. He hit at the boat and almost took the rod out of my hand. Oh my God, he's running. He is running. He's running, he's running big. Come back here, come back here. Tire out. Come here. Don't, don't go away. I saw the bait, so I don't know how good he's hooked. But man, he's fighting like crazy. It's been like two, I haven't had a bite since this, well, I haven't had a, I guess I've had a bite. Oh my God, he's barely hooked. Barely hooked, but look at this monster. Yes, yes, yes. Oh my God. Oh my God, I'm freaking out. I think that's the biggest one yet. Oh. Yes. Whew. Another good one here. Now I just need two more. Whew. Mm. Why don't you go in there with your other buddies? There we go. I think I said I was when I was fighting that fish. I hadn't caught a fish since I first got out here. So what's that? I caught those first fish in the first five minutes. One on the first cast. That was before eight, seven thirty maybe. And it's ten forty-five, and I finally got my third keeper. Man, he scared me. He hit right at the boat again. It almost took the man. That big old fish almost took the rod out of my out of my hand. My wrist is getting tired because, you know, I throw the crankbait a little bit, shaky head for a bit, but pretty much going to be throwing this splash all day because that's three quality fish. So I guess I should probably tell you what I've been doing too. I've been um, running the same area that you saw in those other videos, but now I'm just running the bank in between that cove, that little creek arm where I caught those fish this morning and where the, uh, the last leg of the lake turns, uh, I think it's back west or south, gets narrower and the water gets a lot dingier there, transition. And so, I've just been working this area the entire morning. I'm probably staying in this area the entire day because I know there's fish here and there's good quality fish. Oh yeah, come on, be a good one. Right when it hit the water. I don't know if he's a keeper or not. I don't think so, we'll see. Mm. Where are my pliers? Ah, he's small, but let's get, let's get the uh, Scale, scale, uh, not scale, the measuring stick, the ruler. Let's see here. Well, he is 12 inches. He's a keeper, so it'll help a little bit. Let's make it number four. Just missed the fish, doggone it. It would have been a keeper too. Mm. That's terrible. Uh, 
big old fish jump and took this thing. I hope he's good. That was a huge explosion. I just turned the cameras off. Oh yes. That's a good one. That's a good one. Yes, 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 yes. Uh, yes. Oh, man. Just turn the big camera on here for this. See, get this thing out. Ooh. Look at that. He choked it. Choked it. Look at this. So I'll show you up here. He choked that thing. All right, let's get, let's get it out of his mouth. And uh, let's get it out of his mouth. Let's get him in the live well. You know he wanted it. Man, I tell you what, that's good. It's not as, uh, not as big as some of the other ones, but I'll take it. Maybe about two, maybe about two pounds or so. Give me a picture, two pounds, two and a half pounds. Ugh. Boat's a mess here, but that is awesome. Now to get a few more in coal. Trying to coal now, trying to coal. It is, uh, might as well give you guys an update now after I caught that fish. It's uh, 1244, so I got about two hours left to fish. Hopefully you can get a couple other good sized ones and cool that little one. That's the plan at least. But either way I'm happy. I got my limit. I have a nice little bag, so. Well guys, it's uh, 1345. Got about 45 minutes left to fish. So what I want to do, I want to run this bank again where I caught that big fish and that and that and that little one. Uh, sun's come out, unfortunately, so it might hurt the top water bite, but it's what I have confidence in the day. And then this bank here is shady, so by the time the sun came out today, the summer's already passed this bank and it's been shady. So hopefully. Hopefully there's still topwater action here on this bank. Oh, there we go. I don't think it's hooked very good at all. Hopefully, oh, barely hooked, barely hooked. Got him in though, got him in. But you know what? He's uh, looks like he's a little bit bigger. I can call. Oh, there we go. Oh, he took the man i don't know he's fighting good but i don't know how good he actually is oh yeah he's a good one let the drag run he's not hooked very well where are you going where are you going oh yes this is what i needed this is what i needed boys All right, play it out, play it out, play it out, play it out. Come here. Oh, he's not hooked good. Oh my Lord. I see it's the back hook too. And one of those broke off earlier. So I only got two. Yes, yes, yes. All right, yes. Mm. Yes, 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 exactly what I needed. I guess it was the front hook. 
Good. Come on now, pop out. There we go. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All right, let's get him in this live well and get the small one out. All right. Ooh. I got time for uh, three more casts. And then I'm gonna have to head back in, get back to the boat ramp so we can weigh these fish. You know, it's been a good day out here. I, uh, I don't know how much weight I have, but it's definitely the most weight I've ever caught in, the, in, in our club uh, for a one day. So, um, all right, cast number two. So, it was fun. And uh, I'll say that Pre-fishing does help because I've stuck in the same area of the lake the entire day. I don't know how many times you're going to hear me say that on the video. It depends on how I edit it out, but I've, I've know, I, I know I've said it multiple times. All right, that was cast three, but that was a terrible cast, so I'm going to do one more. All right, this one's for all the money. Come on, six pounder. Come on. I know you're looking at it. Come on. Six pounder. I know you want it. All right, well that's it. Time to uh, Stow everything away and head in. So next time you see me, we'll probably be uh, be at the boat ramp. Let's go find out how much how much weight I have. All right, time to go get the fish. All right, here comes the fun part. Get these fish out of the way, I'm going to get this to my first, then I take it. Oh, okay. I bet it's, it might be close. 
All right, guys, um, I'm home now, as you can see behind me. Uh, I've realized I forgot to do an outro to the video. I just recorded uh, the weigh-in. Um, as I look here, too, it looks like I got some sunburn out there today when the those clouds moved out. But um, anyway, it was a great day uh, uh, for me out there. Uh, I had five fish, 21.83 pounds is, uh, is what I caught. So uh, that's actually the best I've ever done in the tournament. And it may be my best five pound limit I've ever had. I've caught bigger fish before uh, than that six pound kicker. I've caught more fish before in a day. Uh, but to put it all together, especially in the tournament scenario, uh, that was awesome. And even second place had 17 pounds and a lot of people caught five fish or people were catching fish all day. Maybe they were too short, but uh, I think overall it was good fishing out there on uh, Lake, Lake McIntosh. Um, if you live in North Carolina, Go check it out. It's a great place, especially in the fall time. Um, yeah, um, so it was a great day. Uh, last thing I, I, I want to say is that it was a grind, though. Um, I think I may have arthritis in my left wrist here because um, uh, I threw that splash it, that top water all day, and uh, I only had 10 bites. I had the five I brought in, the two fish that I cold, and then um, the one short fish, and then... Uh, I missed one, it was my fault, and then the fish missed the, the, the splash that I won. It blew up beside it, it came back and missed it again. But uh, uh, but yeah, other than that, it was a great day, it was a grind, but uh, only had 10 bites, but the 10 bites I had were, uh, were quality, and that's all you need. You just gotta keep casting, you just don't stop, and you power through. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the uh, like button down below, and uh, Subscribe, leave a comment, and I'll see you out there next time.